Well, it's been a minute. <laughs> One, two, three, four. To be quite honest, I've just been so busy with work and Max so busy with school and work and just both of our lives in general have just been super busy that we haven't filmed a lot recently. Um, but that's about to change, thanks to this weather. Max and I have been doing a lot of fun things recently. Uh, they haven't really amounted to a full-blown video, but they are a bunch of fun clips that I thought I would share with you anyway to give you a peek into our lives the past month as we've welcomed to spring in the tiny home. Hey, bub. Yeah. Yo, how hard do you think I'm gonna shred it now? Like, hella hard or just like super hard? He pulled a muscle in his back. Oh. <laughs> yes. Maybe we should have documented that because it's quite an ordeal. Real. <laughs> All right, see you on the flip. To welcome spring even more on our tiny homestead, I wanted to start a garden. 
uh, we do live on a property with other people and there's gardens elsewhere but there are a couple beds behind the tiny home that I would like to kind of fix up and plant some seeds in I do have a couple starter pots with some herbs and then I also have some seeds of carrots zucchini and I believe sweet peas I'd like to plant so that's what I'm gonna be doing I have honestly zero gardening experience I've grown some tomatoes in my time and some basil pretty much from a bedroom a college bedroom so yeah we'll see how this goes I'm, I'm not sure it's gonna be very successful but <laughs> I'm probably gonna get so many comments on everything I'm doing wrong but you know I'm just gonna wing it have a good time so yeah So these are the garden beds, pretty much right here and this way. So it's kind of an L shape. Again, I'm not really sure where to start. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get my tools and that'll be step one. I have no idea what this is, but it will not come out. I think it's a fern. But geez, it's so deep. It's just like really, really deep. Oh my god. Just like pulling it. The least part of it. Digging up a tree or something. Yes! 
I now understand why ferns are freaking prehistoric because that was the hardest thing I've ever had to take out of the ground. Whew, they're resilient. Planted a garden. Well, hopefully a garden to be. <laughs> so as a little tour, here on my right side, on the very right, we have some butter lettuce. And then we move into two mounds of zucchini. They have to be spaced pretty far apart. So I only had enough room for two really, if I wanted to make room for all the other vegetables. So butter lettuce, zucchini. Here we have carrots up until this rock. After that, we have some green beans. And then the very last, maybe four feet or so, I don't have currently anything in. I'm still growing some basil and oregano that I'll plant there here in maybe the next week or two. And that'll be our garden. <laughs> oh, and then we already have a, a nice, uh, very successful kale. That's my garden. And I am so stoked. Oh my gosh. Pretty freaking cool. Like I have a garden. I'm only 23 and I have a garden, or will have a garden. I just wanna like voice my gratefulness to be able to live here and have this property, but I'm sweating. <laughs> I think I need a shower. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was my first time opening a wine bottle. And I'm 24. Or no, I'm 23. You're not 24 such yet. such a kook. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to have fun. <sighs> it's Grandma. Okay. We still like her. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> toast to make. Okay. <laughs> so, this is a toast to the end of cold winter weather and to warm new beginnings, I guess. Just life and happiness and all that kind of stuff. It's a beautiful day today. It's been a beautiful week. And even though you know, it might not stay this warm, it'll be like this again in the summer. <laughs> so it's just been awesome. I've had a good time. Cheers. Cheers yeah. to spring. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 